We are about to begin our new members induction ceremony in which we will induct 64 members into the National Technical Honor Society. As president of Vicksburg Warren Chapter of NTHS, I am elated to induct new members into an organization that embodies our model of excellence. During the ceremony, please hold your applause until all the names are announced. Thank you. Now we will have the invocation by Anita Reed. Please bow your heads. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we bow our heads in prayer to ask your blessings and guidance for these officers in this membership. We are ever mindful of our opportunities to be of service by our work in the National Technical Honor Society. We are grateful for the opportunities we have to serve and to work while encouraging students to reach higher levels of achievement and develop self-esteem and pride. Truly, we are in your service and pray your continued blessing and guidance so that this association may grow in strength of members and value of service performed. We ask our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Now we will have our welcome by Tyler McGee. Welcome family and friends to the 2019 Warren, Vicksburg Warren Chapter of National Technical Honor Society induction ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our career and technical programs for successfully completing their candidacy for membership into NTHS. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve as a reminder to you for, of standards of excellence to your charge with maintaining as members of National Technical Honor Society. Now we'll have Dorothy Bailey with our NTHS history. The purpose of National Technical Honor Society is to recognize and honor excellent in career and technical education, encourage students to reach for higher level of achievement, develop self-esteem and pride, to help build and maintain a stronger, more positive image for career and technical student program in schools and the local community throughout the nation, to promote ideas and honest service, leadership, and skill development among America's future workforce. Provide greater career opportunity for members and promote excellence in America. The colors are silver, white, and purple. Silver represent values and work. White represent truth and honesty. Purple represent achievement and honor. The official emblem of the organization is made up of a shell crossed by a scroll bearing the love and take it. Above the shell is a head of an a bold eagle with a wreath of seven stars circling the eagle's head. The official NTJ slogan is Excellent in America Workforce Begin with Excellent in Workforce Education. Next we will have a Mike Key with Nathan Skills. I like these candles to represent knowledge and skill. Knowledge is familiarity, awareness, or understanding gained through experience or study. This candle represents the knowledge you have gained through experience and study in your technical program. Skills is the use of knowledge to develop great ability and expertness necessary to a positive difference in a particular occupational field. Next, we will have Brandon Turner with Honesty and Service. I like these candles to represent honesty and service. Honesty is the quality of being truthful, trustworthy, and fair with everyone while at work or play. Service is giving assistance and being ready to, and able to provide an, a helpful and useful act. Next, we will have Kristen Sullivan with responsibility and scholarship. these candles to represent responsibility and scholarship. Responsibility involves the ability to act without guidance or superior authority and being answerable for your actions. Scholarship is the distinctive mark of one who has mastered an area of learning as reflected in the quality of his or her work, especially with respect to scope, thoroughness, and care. Next, we will have Erica Jackson with citizenship and leadership. I 
light these candles to represent <coughs> citizenship and leadership. Citizenship is being entitled with full civil rights and exercising the duties, rights, and privileges of the status. Leadership is the responsibility of serving as a guiding force and directing the way by going first with courage and confidence. Next, we will have Corey Abney with attributes and declaration. Each of the candidates for membership have displayed the attributes for membership. These candidates have shown these eight attributes within their school and community. I hereby declare the candidates eligible for membership into Vicksburg Warren Chapter of the National Technical, Technical Honor Society. We ask that you please make your way to the front. Ayana Ayaleya. She's a 10th grader at Warren Center High School. She's in our Law and Public Safety program. She's the daughter of Natalie Dridden, and she's a member of our Junior ROTC. Tevin Bell. Tevin is an 11th grader at Warren Center High School. He's in our Biomedical Science program. He is the son of Eddie and Teresa Bell. He's a member of the Bethlehem MB Church. He participates in the Over the River Run. He is a member of the Literary Club and FTA. Tiangela Calloway. She's an 11th grader at Warren Central High School. She's in our Health Science One program. She's the daughter of Angela Williams. She's a member of the Vicksburg Family Life Cathedral Church, and she's a member of the Upper Bound Club. <coughs> Jayla Davis. Jayla is a 10th grader at Warren Central High School. She's the daughter of Karen Flags and Derek Davis. <laughs> Willie Davis. Willie is an 11th grader at Warren Central High School. He's in our welding program. He's the son of Nakia Eatman Davis, and he's a member of Bethlehem MD Church. <coughs> Zarky Doyle is a 10th grader at Warren Central High School. He's the son of David and Lisa Doyle. He's a member of the Mount Pilgrim Church in Freetown. at Vicksburg High School. She's in our Health Science One program. She's the daughter of Miranda Kincaid. She's a member of the Triumph Church. She received awards for third place in state, best defense in soccer, most spirited cheer in volleyball. Her community service included red carpet bowl and school fundraisers. And she's an ambassador and a member of Key Club. Jaden Moss Grant. Jaden is a 10th grader at Vicksburg High School. He's rolled in our PLTW engineering program. He's the son of Lewis Grant and Elpha Moss. He's a member of Pentecostal Explorative Ministries. He received awards for all A honor roll and AB honor roll. Community service, formed a member of the BSA Troop 638. And he is a member of the Upper Bound and Math and Science Clubs. Davis Green. Davis is a 10th grader at Warren Central High School. 
He's enrolled in our engineering program. He is the son of Todd and Sydney Green. He is a member of the Woodlawn Baptist Church. He received awards for the AORI Honor Society and state swim team. His community service include lifeguard with the YMCA. And he's also a member of cross country for one Central. Alexis Hunt, she's a 10th grader at Vicksburg High School. She's enrolled in our culinary arts program. She's the daughter of Sharita Hunt and Robert Hunt. Sydney James, Sydney is an 11th grader at Warren Central High School. She's enrolled in our biomedical science program. She's the daughter of Mary Ann Hyam. She's a member of the Crossway Baptist Church. Her awards include Citizenship Award, Beta Club, and Honor Roll. Some of her community service includes CIT at camp, help with elderly housekeeping, and participate in the haunted house. Isabella Jeffers. Jeffers. Isabella is a 10th grader at Warren Central High School. She's in our biomedical science program. Her parents are Kathy Jeffers, LaVon Jeffers. She's a member of the Crossway Church. Her community service include HEART, which is, is a self-made foundation for her mom and sisters to help animals, and also with Crossway Church Ministry. Some of her clubs include archery. Destiny Mayfield. Destiny is an 11th grader at Warren Central High School. She's enrolled in our Biomedical Science One program. She is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gregory Mayfield. Her church is El Bethel Missionary Baptist Church. Community service includes Salvation Army Book Bag Drive, Angel Tree, and Relay for Life. Destiny is also members of Key Club, Drama Club, Beta Club, and the Literary Club. Ariel Moore. Ari is a 12th grader at Warren Central High School. She's enrolled in our biomedical science program. She is the daughter of Victoria Moore. Donald Muirhead III. Donald is an 11th grader at Warren Central High School. He's in our biomedical science program. He is the son of Donald Muirhead and Kathy Muirhead. He is a member of the Crossway Baptist Church. Justin Miles. Justin is a 10th grader from Vicksburg High School. He's enrolled in our engineering program. He is the son to Yolanda Miles and Cedric Tillman. He's a member of the Shallow Baptist Church. Some of his awards include National Junior Honor Society, Proficiency in English II exam, and History I benchmark. Justin is also a member of the Vicksburg High School Pride Marching Band and the bowling team. Anthony Najidi. Anthony is a 12th grader from Warren Central High School. He's enrolled in our Lauren Public Safety Program. He is the son to Victor and Florence Najidi, and he's a member of St. Mary's Catholic Church. Trinity Odom. Trinity is a 10th grader at Vicksburg High School. She's enrolled in our Carpentry Program. Her parents are Lamar and Odom Senior, Senior, and the late Ebony James. <coughs> Her church is Mount Carmel Ministries. Some of her awards include National Junior Honor Society, the Honor Roll, Leader in Me, AOI, and some of her clubs are 4-H Club and Upward Bound. Marion Sherwin, she's a 10th grader from One Central High School. She's enrolled in our Engineering One program. She is the daughter of Leah and Brian, Byron Sherwin. She's a member of the Crossway Baptist Church. Some of her awards include Afton Strong Award, Outstanding Contributions to the BWCCA. Some of her community services are church, SOS summer camp, counselor for vacation Bible school. She's also a member of the band, archery, academy lead team, and acme lead team. Talitha Smith. 
Talitha is an 11th grader at Warren Central High School. She's enrolled in our Law and Public Safety program. Her parents are Danielle and Zach Gibbs. Her church is Crossway Baptist Church. Her awards are highest GPA in Law and Public Safety for the fall and spring of last year. Community service, she volunteers at the Center for Pregnancy Choices, Crossway Church, Windshape Camp Services, Over Self Camp, Southern Heritage Foundation, and the Volleyball Tournament. She's a member of Red Corps and P7. LaAsia Williams, she's an 11th grader from Bixborough High School. She's enrolled in our Health Science II program. She's the daughter to Sheila Williams and Robert Craig. She's a member of Zion's Travel and B Church. Some of her community service include volunteering work at the Word of Life Church, and she's a member of the Junior ROTC. Would you all please join me in welcoming our new 2018 <laughs> We will now have recognition of officers by Ms. Rodacia Lindsay. President Kennedy Fitzgerald. <laughs> Vice President Warren Central Anita Reed. Secretary Tyler McGee, <laughs> Treasurer Dorothy Bailey, <laughs> Parliamentarian Amaya Kidd, <laughs> Sergeant of Arms Brandon Turner, <laughs> CTE Administrator Dr. Terrence James, <laughs> CTE Counselor Ms. Tanya Cole, Dean of Sec Secondary Education, Dr. Brock Hass. <laughs> Dual Enrollment Counselor, Ms. Missy Tello. <laughs> Vice President of Pines Community College, Vicksburg Warren Campus, Mr. Marvin Moak. <laughs> VWSD Superintendent, Mr. Chad Sheely. WSD Curriculum Director, Dr. Kim Germany. Now we will have the NTHS pledged by Whitney Johnson. All members new and old, please stand and turn to the back of your program and recite the pledge after you. Pledge as a member of the National Technical Honor Society. As a member of the National Technical Honor Society, I pledge to maintain. I pledge to maintain the highest standard. The highest standard of personal conduct. Of personal conduct, I will apply myself. I will apply myself to continue a record. To continue a record of scholastic achievement. Of scholastic achievement, and I will strive for excellence. And I will strive for excellence in all aspects of my education. In all aspects of my education, I will invest my talent. I will invest my talents, my skills, my skills, and my knowledge, and my knowledge in a career of my own choosing, in a career of my own choosing, and I shall always endeavor, and I shall always endeavor to uphold my obligations, to uphold my obligations as a citizen of my community, as a citizen of my community, in my country, in my country. Now we will have closing remarks and benediction by Dr. Terrence James, our CTE administrator. Good afternoon, I'm not Dr. James. I am Melissa Smith and I'm one of the advisors for NTHS. Um, I would like to thank the parents and grandparents and guardians and family and friends that came out to support our new inductees today. And I would like to give you all a round of applause for all that you do to support your children's here, children here at um, CTE. So thank you all for coming out today. I look forward to working with our new inductees. Um, I think when we did the count last night, I think we have 127 combined 
with um, our new inductees, which we had induction through uh, first, second, third, and fourth block. And um, combined with our older um, members. So um, we are a big group. We are a unique group because we make up Warren Central and Vicksburg with our CTE programs. Dr. James had to step off campus for a moment. Um, if you need any of us, you can call us. I'm one of the student service coordinators here, um, NTHS advisor. Ms. Kivitt is another um, CTE in, uh, student service coordinator and NTHS advisor. Ms. Vaughn did the bio readings. She's another SSE and NTHS advisor. We also have Khalil Young, who is also um, our fourth C SSE and um, NTHS advisor. So we have refreshments for you all in room 51. Please join us for Cake and Punch. Um, and new inductees and old members, please make sure that you all stay. Um, Ms. Kip is going to take a group photo with you all. Let's bow our heads while we bless our food, our refreshments. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our strong group of students. Bless their, their lives and their career choice. Bless their families who come and support them. Um, continue to bless them and uplift them as they, as they pursue their options in their education. Um, bless this food that we're about to receive and give us traveling grace. In your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen.